Hey guys, I'm Adventure Andy. I'm playing Morocco of Time 3D for the Nintendo 3DS, and this game is brought to you by GameNone.com. As you can see, I have not cut out anything to save you guys time. Uh, I'd say you're welcome, but I don't know. I feel like it was kind of rude of me to do, but I don't really care. So yeah, you're welcome. Ha! Ouch. I'd say I deserved that, but really, I mean, that didn't affect me too much. I lost a quarter of a heart on the bottom screen. Kind of embarrassed myself a little bit, but not even really that much. It's not like I brag about having good Zelda skills or anything. That is a weird thing. Also, what are those rocks? But not like what are they, but like what do they symbolize? Because everything has a greater meaning. It's becoming a ride out. I just figured it'd be cooler to scale the mountain during the night time. I didn't even know I'd get to be like scaling overnight. Does that mean like I just pulled an all nighter to holy crap, there's a lot of hearts. I just like pulled an all nighter to like climb that mountain. Like I was going for a day, I didn't even sleep. I'd be he'd be pretty exhausted, I would think. He doesn't even sleep that much, man. Like if I like went through this entire game, like I don't understand how he's not ever fatigued. You. Okay, well, I know what I have to do. Just gotta I'll use this though. Blow up, make him make him cry, make him regret everything, I don't know. I know I gotta bomb him, and then he'll be like, hmm. Speaking of bombs, he's a red tunic. I think he says something like that. Yeah, that was great. Nice execution. He totally regrets rolling around randomly. Ugh. Come on, faster. Get him. Ah, there we go. I'm a master of my domain. How could you do this to me? You, you're Ganondorf's servant. Not quite. Ah, uh, nice guess, I suppose. Hear my name and tremble. I am Andy, hero of the Gorons. I've heard that name somewhere before. You look just like an Andy, too. Wow. What? Your name is also Andy? Then you must be the legendary Didongo Buster and Hero. Andy! Yeah, dude. Just Andy. No last name. My dad is Daronia. Do you remember him? Yeah. Dad named me Andy after you because you're so brave. And, you know, that name is just synonymous with, you know, brave and chivalrous and semi-attractive. It's a cool name. I really like it. Yeah, I think, you know, I like it too. That's why I picked it out. Obviously, not my parents. Andy, you're a hero to us, Gorons. I'm so glad to meet you. Please give me your autograph. Sign it to my friend Andy of the Gorons. Or I could just spit on your paper. Because, you know, that's the kind of person I am. I guess it's not a good time to ask for this. Please help everyone. My dad, Durania, Durania, went to the fire temple. A dragon is inside. Wow, maybe he should have waited for it to leave. That might have been a better time to enter. If we don't hurry up, even my dad will be eaten by the dragon. Well, if he hadn't gone in there, he could have avoided this all. ba ba boo hoo I don't really feel bad for you. You, you sound like stupid. Like, are you defective? Are you okay? Are you having an issue? Do you need allergy medication? What do you, what's wrong with you? You better try to calm him down if you can. Maybe he will calm down if you talk to him. I don't know why I've been talking to him. Want to talk about Gorons or dragons? Well, talking about dragons always calms me down. A long time ago, there was an evil dragon named Glover Randall living in this mountain. That dragon was very scary. It ate Gorons. Yeah, I can see why that would be scary. Seeing as how they're like made of rocks. It's also bad for your teeth. It's like, a, it's like an orthodontist nightmare. Using a huge hammer, the hero of Gorons, boom, destroyed it just like that. This is a myth from long ago, but it's true. So, yeah, okay. I know because my dad is a descendant of, my, of the hero. Really, we, are we, like, of the same? That doesn't really make sense. I'm a human. He's a Goron. There have to be some strange affairs going on there. Let's talk about Gorons. That didn't really seem to work. Everybody was taken to the fire temple. Really? I seem to recall you saying something like that. Well, my dad was out. Ganondorf's followers came and took them all away. Twitter joke. Ha. All of them will be eaten by Glover Randall. Oh, no. Dad said that Ganondorf has revived Glover Randall. As a warning to those who might oppose him, Ganondorf is going to feed them all to Glover Randall. Dad went to the fire temple all by himself to try to save everyone. Please, Andy. Or please help Andy. Please help Andy? I don't need help. I'll give you this heat resistant tunic. Ooh, it's red. That'll go gray with my eyes. Actually, I feel like blue would go better with my eyes and earrings. Because it's blue. My eyes are blue. My earrings are blue. Gotta make a fashion statement. Though blue goes good with everything, basically, kind of, pretty much, almost. Um, uh, boom. So if we go in here. 
Actually, I'm not even gonna do this. Uh, I forget how you're supposed to find this out, but I know you're supposed to move this. Are you not? You're supposed to move this, right? Move. Wait, yes, yeah, see, he's gonna grab it. Yeah, okay, it comes out. And whoa! Oh my god, how. Wow, interesting. Death Mountain Crater. Oh, I guess I'm only inside now. Ain't it so hot in here? We can't stay here for too long. Yeah, no, my armpits are gonna stink. Yeah, he doesn't even put on deodorant. Jeez, like, there's no way we put on deodorant in those seven years. I mean, do they even make, like, Hylian deodorant? It's kind of. I think that's an important question. That's an essential question. Not really, though. You could answer with yes or no. Anyway, gear. You know, do you want the gear? Select the red tunic. A heat resistant outfit crafted by Goron Techniques. Wearing this, you'll keep cool even in the hottest places. You know, red is this season's color anyway, so. Uh, why? Don't you ask me later. Ha <laughs> ha why is a button? It's also a word with three letters, not just one. Well, where do you where do you even come from? It is something that grows over time, a true friendship, a feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time. What are you, what are you talking about? See, you need the red tunic, it would match your eyes. That would be, like, fabulous. But, like, not in the- I don't know, I made a joke that's overused. The passion of friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power, and through it, you will know which way to go. That's enlightening. This song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the bolero of fire. Yes, I don't know. She got that from. Whatever. I mean, he. I don't know who is that. Not. It's definitely just a Sheikah and no one else significant to the plot of Zelda. Dang it. I'm used to the Xbox controllers, which is weird because I'm a Nintendo fag. Dang it. I did it again. There we go. I love this song. It's like a march, kind of? No. Uh, not really. It sounds like it because of the drums. Okay, no, her, like, her strokes are not fitting with the music. I sense a flaw in this game. A flaw that no one really cares about, including myself. I was just bringing it up, so I had something to talk about. Andy, I'll see you again. I hope so. I... Why would you put fire up? Why can't... If you would just kindly ask me to, like, look in the other direction, I'd be happy to comply. I really have no intentions of following you. I've got much more important things to do, like... Uh, what's my objective again? Like, save the world, probably. That makes sense. Alright. Gotta pick up this rock. Throw it. There we go. I'm that much closer to saving the world now. Ladders are for squares. And people who wish to keep their ankles in proper working condition... I am neither of those things. I enjoy breaking bones. Gives me a rush. Fire temple. Interesting. Whoa. Oh, crap. Well, at least I'm fire resistant. Bulletproof, nothing to lose. Fire away, fire away. No titanium. Okay, so this door needs a key. Already I'm sensing a disturbance. Seeing as how I don't have any keys. But what I do have is arrows. Which I should kill that thing with. No, what do you... This music's interesting. Yep, fall down. Fall down to death. Well, hmm. I have no idea what to do. If only I had a compass. Wait, this might be a door, though. All I remember is, yeah, okay, it's a door. You gotta, like, save all the Gorons in this temple, right? Is that That's the point of this one. And then they give you keys. It's really neat, actually. Well, I don't know how to save that guy. Please don't eat me. If you eat something like me, you'll get a stomach ache. Really, I'd like to test that theory. You'll be sorry. Yeah, no, nothing makes me more sorry than a stomach ache. Except for a headache, which begs the question, which do you prefer, a headache or a stomach ache? Because I can never quite pick between the two. They both suck in equally different ways. Like, I'm surprised... Oh, this door is unlocked. Okay. I'm surprised no one's ever asked me that. Because, like, I really just... I can't stand either of them, and I've never for the life of me been able to... Hey, look, a guy. He looks pissed. Who's there? Is that you, Andy? 
Oh, it really is Andy. Yep. You've grown so big since I last saw you, and you finally changed. Yeah, that, yeah, that was pretty great. I finally got a second pair of clothes. I want to see. I want to have a man-to-man -man talk with you, but now is not the time. Ganondorf is causing trouble on Death Mountain again. He has been revived by the ancient dragon, Volvagia. Yeah, I'm done with the Lover Randall thing. If you get the joke, that's neat. If you don't, I don't really care. On top of that, he is going to feed my people to that evil dragon as a warning to other races who might resist him. If that fire-breathing dragon escapes from the mountain, all of Hyrule will become a burning wasteland. I will go on ahead and try to seal up the evil dragon. I'm concerned, though, because I don't have the legendary hammer, but I have no choice. Andy, I'm asking you to do this as my sworn brother. Well, I'm trying to deal with the dragon. Please save my people. The prisoner's cells are in opposite direction. I'm counting on you, Andy. Alright. So yeah, that man-to-man -man talk seemed kind of appealing. I'm assuming Link is rather confused with the change that's going on in his body. Especially since it kind of like hit him, like all of a sudden. Like, I don't know, that shit normally takes a few years to develop. Oh, yeah, that was it's actually quite acrobatic of you to roll off an edge and then turn around and grab it with your arm. I could not do that. I feel like my arm would like snap. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? No, you have to sit there and wait. I'll tell you a secret for saving me. In order to get into the room where Deronia went, you have to do something about the pillar stuck in the ceiling. Find a path that leads to the room above the cell right away. And suddenly I'm behind him, staring at his, um, well, I don't know, probably not his butt. That'd be kind of weird. You found a small key. This key will open a locked door. You can use it in this dungeon. Wow, really? That's great. I didn't know keys open locked doors. And by that, I mean I was totally aware of that and attempting to make a joke now based on obvious facts that we all know. Because I have the charisma of a million sarcastic assholes. Alright, I can hookshot to this too, right? Right. Thanks for the answer, guys. Always good to cooperate in these things. We can, we can call this like a cooperative LP between Adventure Annie and the audience. Consisting of five people. Uh, I should probably get one of those in a bottle. Uh, gear. No, that was the ocarina. Crap. I'm not even looking at the screen right now. Okay. Uh, no. Map. Items. Bottle. Oh, I have the bottle equipped on the touch screen. Dang it! Ah! Life is tough. And I just farted really loudly. And it's probably not going to show up on the recording. And now I'm just giggling for no reason. In my own house. Alone. And kind of awkwardly. But hey, the door opened. I mean, I didn't think it wouldn't, but still, it's always a good sign. It's always crappy when little things work out, like, unexpectedly negatively. Like, if I'm, like, about to go for a jog and I can't find my running shoes, which <laughs> totally hasn't happened recently, and then I just can't find my shoes, it's, like, an unexpected inconvenience, which is, like, one of the worst kinds of inconveniences, because, like, it's just, like, slightly irritating, but irritating enough so that it's an evident problem. Fuck! Okay, we're good. I'm sorry for swearing. Actually, I actually haven't sworn once this video, I don't think. Or have I? I don't remember. I don't keep track. Uh, which is probably a bad thing and kind of emphasizes how much I really need to stop swearing. Well, that wasn't the intention, but honestly, it saved me some money. And nice try, guy, but I am smooth like Michael Jackson. Whoa. Uh, and can I grab that? Yes, I can. Strange. I didn't think he'd be able to reach it. That is not a door. Can I bomb it? Find out momentarily. Hey, we can. Well, I don't know what the point of that was, but, you know, we're gonna move on anyway. Hey, switch. I hope there's a key in here. How's it going there, guy? Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? Are you guys all gonna ask me that? You should just tell everyone that I'm like... If you can just spread the word so I don't have to like, read that a million times. There are switches in this temple that you have to strike to activate, but you can also use the Goron special crop to get that to do that job. Uh, you could have just said bomb plant. That would have been equally as helpful. You know, because I'm not an idiot. Even though seven years is a long time and I could have forgotten what it is. But, uh, yeah, so, I don't know what to do with this key quite yet, but I'll figure it out. This is actually going pretty, like, well, right now. Jump on this. I haven't fallen in the lava yet. I'm not about to jinx it, either, because that'd be gay. Whoa. Oh, yeah, it's resistant. Huh, or not. I don't know. That's pretty great, though, that that just happened. But, like, it was, like, 
I don't know how to describe that, so I'm just gonna stop talking at this point. Let's. Oh god. It's like a coincidence, but like not really. Okay. Ouch. Yeah, fire still hurts. All right. Now that we've established well-known facts. Well, shit. Wait, can I climb on this? Yeah, there you go. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, you guys are slowly eating away at my health. Can you jump up there? You got this. There you go. More upper body strength than I could ever dream of having. Well, that was silly. <laughs> I would have first sliding down on my butt, but then again, who wants splinters in their butt cheeks? Me! Lift me! You raise me up? Okay, this isn't going as planned. Nope. I can be like a hot air balloon, you see? I'm going so high. Not really, I've just ate away like almost all my health. Is there a switch over here? No, there very well may be a switch over here. I don't remember if I looked. No, but wait, can I have shot this? Yes, I can. Okay. Or I can just climb it. That is also an effective method of travel. Hey, look, hearts. That's helpful because... Actually, that is helpful. But not on the conventional, I'm trying to progress through a game helpful. But more like... I'm shitty at a game helpful, which is always a good thing for me, but be more careful. How do I get over there? This is something that I would never try in real life ever. Whoa, okay. Oh, okay. And now, ever so gently. Don't jump. Don't jump. It'd be a bad idea. There you go. Yeah, just down. Take this block, which is making a funny face at me, and see if it can maintain its composure with a fire shooting up its non-existent ass. I don't think gravity works that way, where it would just be like 80% off the edge and still there. But who's complaining? Not me. Can it like crush me if I'm not careful? Okay, no, it can't. Hey, look, I need a key. 